Okay, hopefully we're live. <laughs> I just had a little bit of an issue going live, so I'm hoping we're live. Um, happy Valentine's Day! Yay! What's today? Um, today is Wednesday. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Uh, coming to you live from my home office here in Chicago. Um, the sun is shining. It's a good day. Um, I'm about to hop on a coaching call with a client, so I'm going to keep this really short and sweet. And today we're talking about self-confidence because I feel like this is something that is huge for so many people, including entrepreneurs um, that I work with in this space. So if you're new to who I am, first of all, as you're tuning in, I want you to say hello. Uh, give me a shout out. Tell me where you're tuning in from. Uh, hey, what's up, Pam? Powerful video the other day. Thank you. Listen, I'm going to be getting more into uh, mindset, but there's several different layers to mindset. But I feel that, you know, 2017 for um, my business, you guys came with a price. And the price was um, chaos. The price was... Um, n like zero life balance. You guys, I'm just being honest here. And a lot of um, a lot of what I found that where I kept hitting walls came into play was when um, I felt like my mindset was jagged and there were certain things. There was comparison, there was self-doubt, there was limiting beliefs. Can I really create all these multiple businesses? There was, um, I'm doing too much. I had a lot of scroll vision and not a lot of tunnel vision and that's what I talked about the other day. And through this process, you guys, last year, I probably connected with thousands of entrepreneurs, thousands of network marketers, um, and also coaches. You know, I, I run, I operate and own my own coaching practice. And so, um, and I'm very honored to do that because I work with amazing clients. And what I hear reoccurring, so if we really stop to listen to our clients, to our audience, to our prospects, whatever business you're in, you guys, they will tell you what they need. And so for me, what I found was um, that a lot of people keep coming up against the same thing. And that is, I don't have enough worth to create success in my life. I, 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 I don't, I don't believe that I am, I'm worthy of this. And, and then there's the confidence issue, right? And then there's fear of breaking outside of your comfort zone. There's a lot that comes into play when we talk um, when we talk about mindset. So I'm going to get into today just talking to you about three tips to help you um, overcome this, you know, having this um, like self-confidence issue, right? Because confidence is a mindset that takes effort and practice. But the cool thing is that once you start to develop that confidence, you guys, you have it. Like it's pretty much strengthened. Okay. Um, so anyways, yeah, as you guys are tuning in, please say hello, please share this. I'm going to be talking to you today uh, a little bit more about mindset. I'm going to be coming to you actually more about, I really enjoy talking about this topic because, um, people are always like, Julie, show me the funnels, show me how to create my own six figure business. Um, Show me how to run traffic to an opt-in page. And, and just like all of these things are like the how-tos, right? Like these are the strategies and the tactics. And I, and I get it because that's, like I said the other day, it's like so much sexier to talk about that <laughs> than mindset. But I'm going to tell you, it doesn't matter what point of your, your career that you're in, whether <coughs> you're making six figures, seven figures, 500 bucks a month, there will always be a limiting belief and a self-doubt, okay? Always, always. And you say, well, even somebody of a success caliber making seven figures, yes, yes. I know because I've lived it. <laughs> um, so some tips for you guys is to, and before I get into that real quick, I'm sorry, if you're new to who I am, Real quick, my name is Julie Burke. I'm the founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com. And what I really do and specialize in is helping entrepreneurs to bring their business online. So yes, I teach online marketing tips and strategies, but also a second layer to that is also the mindset piece. 
um, because most often we will get stuck in our tracks for so many reasons. Like I said, we'll start comparing, we'll start um, doubting ourselves. We have all of the outside resources telling us that we can't. Maybe we don't have support from our family and our friends, whatever it might be, right? Okay, so here's the thing. With confidence, it's something that we have to grow, right? And I'm sure there's many different ways that you could try and overcome confidence. But here's just three tips that I know when I sat down and I thought about it. What helped me to gain more confidence? Because I don't, I didn't always believe in myself. Someone could look at me and say, well, you've developed seven figures in network marketing space or you've now developed multiple six figures in your online marketing business, your coaching business or affiliate marketing. You guys, it came with a price. And the price was me having to strengthen within my own self, my own mindset. Like I had some demons that I had to decompose. Like I had some demons that I had to get rid of. And I'm not saying it's perfect, you guys. Like nothing's perfection, okay? Um, and so often we live in that perception of perfection. And it just doesn't exist. I'm here to tell you it doesn't exist. And I know because I lived it. And when I really started digging into why am I always wanting everything to be perfect and why am I not taking imperfect action, it was something that went back to my childhood, to my mom, who needed everything to be perfect, including my hair. I remember in kindergarten, I, I'm not even joking, from a very young age, my pigtails had to have the perfect curls in it. And the way I know this is because when I got older, my aunts and my sister, who was seven years older than me, my aunts and my family kept telling me, um, they kept saying to my mom, Joni, don't you remember? You'd have to have her dressed to the nines and perfect hair and perfect, just everything. My mom is just a perfectionist. So guess what? That channeled over into me it, it, that, you know, was brought into me and where I felt like I needed everything to be perfect last year to get started. And so guess what? I had fear. I have, I had comparison. I had disbelief. I had low confidence. I had the, I don't want to do a Facebook live because I'm scared about screwing up or I'm scared about what people are going to say. Like who gives a crap, right? I realized like who cares, so listen, like somebody out there is looking for your message and needs your message. And the more we keep letting our ego stop us, the more like we're not going to be able to move forward in confidence. Okay. So when I started pushing myself aside and I started showing up in this world is when that's where the magic started to happen. But it also came with working with mentors. It also came with doing some personal development. And so we're studying the wrong things as entrepreneurs. I'm telling you this right now. You shouldn't be studying traffic and funnels and all that every single day. You also need to be working on this up here, okay? I'm gonna to be totally on. And again, I'm just sharing my 2017 with you and what I've learned because I have now stopped to sit back you know, everything's moving so fast. My new network marketing business, if you know, I switched companies. My new business is like insane, you guys. Like it is, you know, most people would die to be in the position I am with my team. And I love, love, love my team. And I love my new company. I'm very, 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 very happy. Don't get me wrong. Don't take those words and misuse them. Um, I'm very grateful. But yet, I need to slow down to really understand how I want to move forward and serve others and make an impact for others, okay? So understand that, okay? Most people wouldn't slow down. Most people would keep going at, you know, Mach 10 in the Ferrari to just go over a cliff. I don't want to go over the cliff. Like, yes, we're in momentum and it's great, but I don't want to go over a cliff. I want to stop and realize, okay, let me back up. I have a story to share here because again, I don't want to see other entrepreneurs go down a million freaking rabbit holes that I see them doing. And how do I know this? Because I communicate with you guys every single day. Every single day I'm getting messages. Okay, so here's my three tips. One thing, one way you can improve your confidence is about how you present yourself. It's body language. And don't think because you have a home-based business that you don't need to be Practicing body language. When you go out, practice body language. How are you presenting yourselves? Are you slumped over? Are you slouched? You guys, I'm always conscious of my posture because I used to be a sloucher. I used to keep my head down. I wouldn't even look at the clerk at uh, checking out. I would keep my head down instead of smiling and looking in their eyes and like putting my shoulders back and my head up. 
you guys, I know this sounds like tedious, but it's not tedious. It's, it's super, super important. If you look confident and act the part, then you will become it. It's something that I'm constantly working on is the posture. Even when I'm in my office, even when I'm doing a coaching call, even when I'm doing a Zoom call, it doesn't matter. I'm constantly thinking about it. How do I want this other person to perceive me? Well, I want to come off as confident. So then guess what? It raises their caliber. Do you guys understand that? So eye contact, shaking a hand, firm, smiling, everywhere I go, everywhere I go, I no longer walk around with my head down. Because if you walk around with your head down, you miss the world around you, right? You miss everything. Does that make sense, right? You miss that person that's having a bad day. You miss that person that needed you. You miss that person that possibly had was struggling and couldn't even come up with coffee money that you probably could have helped buy them a cup of coffee. Why? Because we live in this world where our face is in a phone all the time, right? Um, and so be conscious. Be conscious of your body language. Be conscious of being present, okay? Number two, take action. What did I tell you? I had to start taking imperfect action, okay? I was so scared to get out my course last year, my very first course. You guys, I sat on this course for seven months. It was my signature course. So it was like, when I say signature course, for those of you that don't know, I have five digital products um, that teach people how to build their business online, okay? So one of them is a signature product, which I sell at a higher price point. I was so scared to get it out into the world. I was very, very nervous about it. What is in that equation? I, 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 I. And I had to dissipate that and say, it's not about me, it's about them. I just put my heart and soul into this course, into these modules, into these videos, into these audios, into this workbook. I need to step aside and give it to them because they are who I am meant to serve. So stop worrying about if it's perfect. It could, I could, you could always go back and you could always correct it. It's like when I'm working with um, coaches or if somebody else wants to create their own product, I say you sell it first and then you go and create it. That's what I was taught. You sell it first and then go and create it and they like freak out. Okay, so listen. Um, inaction breeds doubt and fear, right? If you live in inaction, you will be more fearful. You will live in more doubt, I promise you. While action, right, breeds confidence. Why? Because you're going through it. Um, I'm going to be rolling something out next week, and it's, it's, it, it's going to be at like a sick price point, but here's the thing. It's going to be a four-week boot camp live with me, with me, Live calls every single week for four weeks to do what? To get you guys into action, to help you become more visible, to do a branding boot camp. because what I hear most often is people are not understanding how to brand, how to get more visible. They are fearful of Facebook Lives. So I am going to push you out of your comfort zone. It will be a four week boot camp. okay? I don't have details now. I'm still working on it. It will roll out next week. You want to be on my email list. If you're not on my list, go to create success with julie.com. Put in your email and you'll get on my list <coughs> or message me. <coughs> okay. So as an exercise, <coughs> I want you to do this. I want you to take a piece of paper out and I want you to write strengths on one side and weaknesses on the other side. And I want you to tear it down the middle. Okay, I want you to brain dump your strengths and your weaknesses. And then you know what I want you to do? I want you to tear up, tear up and shred the weakness side because that's not where you focus. Most people focus on the wrong thing. They focus on their weakness. Stop. Focus on your strength. So one of the strengths that I'm starting to realize is that I don't let people live in their shit. I don't want that. What I realize is that I'm very good at pulling out of people, right, Clarity. I'm pulling out of people what they're meant to do and who they're meant to serve, right? This is what I do with my clients and I get them on the road to success. That's what I do. That's what I'm really good at. I'm really good at helping people break down the barriers of what's going on in here. Why? Because I had to do it. That's, that is what led. People are like, well, no, but I want to learn how you did the funnels and had success last year. No, that came second. What came first was me overcoming every single hurdle of saying, I can't. I can't. Cassie, you're fearful of lives. You need to get in my four-week boot camp, period. 
You'll have me every single week and a whole group of people there to support, okay? This is live. Understand, people pay me over $1,000 for 45 minutes of my time, and I'm telling you guys, this will be nowhere near that for four weeks. Why am I making it so affordable? So you get in and you get it done. And so in 30 days, you are moving forward in imperfect action. Action. Getting more visible. Putting yourselves out there. What do I talk about? What's my content? Don't worry about it. Get in the boot camp. We're going to talk about it there. It's going to be awesome. Okay. Um, and then be prepared. That's the third tip. Be prepared. Be prepared for mistakes, for success, for failure, for disappointment. Preparation, okay, preparing will help you to propel forward a little bit more, but please um, understand that you're not going to, going to avoid getting tripped up on your journey, okay? You have to prepare for unexpected glitches. So you want to prepare for all of that. See, when I, I understood like, oh, so what? I'm going to do this webinar. I'm so scared to do a webinar, but anything could happen. Guess what? I had three webinars screw up on me. I had one that ended, uh, I had um, a blackout that happened. I had a recording that didn't record, so I had to redo it. I mean, you guys, I've had so many issues with webinars. I just, I'm, I, <laughs> webinars and I just do not get along right now. But anyways, um, learn everything you can about your industry. Learn your subject matter, okay? Understand your goals, understand your vision. Just be prepared for all of it, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Do you guys understand that? And if you're in network marketing, for God's sakes, don't just learn about recruiting and how to close. Understand and become a student of the profession and learn how to market and how to sell in the psychology behind it. What moves people? What moves people forward? That's what I need to do. I need to do a sales course. And because here's the thing, there is a thing as authentic sales. Everyone needs to throw this whole thing out the window about being a used car salesman. I cannot stand hearing that because you need to sell something to move product or service or your opportunity, like bottom line. So learn to love it. You guys, I used to be that person of, I hate sales. My dad's a sale. My dad is a wicked salesman. And you know why? Because he's built relationships. My father has amazing relationships he's built for 40, 50, 60 years. It's probably showing my dad's age. But here's the thing. He, I looked at him one day and I'm like, I hate sales. I don't like sales. Like, and I cross my arms. I'm in network marketing. I don't sell. I, I, I share. I don't sell. I share. Bull crap. You're selling, but you're selling a solution. You sell to serve. There's an authentic way to sell. It doesn't have to be icky, okay? So understand sales. Understand marketing. Start understanding psychology of what moves people forward, what's going to propel them forward. You guys understand this? Is this making sense? Okay? So here, that is it. There's my three tips, you guys. I hope to God that this helped you. If you found value, please share it. If you want info on the boot camp, which will be uh, rolling out next week to my email list, I'll probably be starting it in the beginning of March. Drop info, info, because I don't have the info all done yet. It's going to be awesome. It is going to be awesome. Accountability, hot seats. We're gonna talk branding, Facebook Live, how to get more visible, four week boot camp. You don't need another like course, long drawn out course. You guys need action. You need to start taking action and there's nobody out there greater than me. Ask anybody that really, really knows me to put you and propel you into action like I can, okay? Because I don't stand for it. I don't stand for excuses. I don't stand, I will squash your fears, okay? And so honestly, this boot camp will rock your socks off. It's not near a thousand dollars, so do not freak out about that. But it is an investment, I'm not gonna lie. You have to invest. If I gave it to all of you for free for four weeks, guess what? I promise you, you would not show up. You would not fully show up being present and playing full out with me, okay? And that is not fair, okay? Plus, I'm putting a lot of my time into it and for you, okay? But I'm giving it to you for a reasonable, reasonable, reasonable cause. So, 
If you want that, put info here. You guys, be blessed. As always, I look forward to rocking out your business with you very, very soon here. Um, and just go out there and understand that, like I said, you know, focus on being present, focus on taking action, and just focus on just being prepared that stuff's going to go wrong, and that is okay. That is totally okay. All right, you guys? You guys are worth success. You're worth it. You could have it. The sky's the limit. I freaking promise you. Um, we just have to break down and chip away little by little at some of the gunk and do a detox to your mindset very, very quickly so you guys can move forward. All right? Um, and so, yeah, we're going to be going over mindset as well in, inside the boot camp because who would I be to just throw you to the wolves and be like, here you go, go do Facebook Live when I know most of you guys have a fear. Um, and also, I get, what I'm going to offer in boot camp is also some um, what I call love seats where I will review some of your stuff and guess what? I'll give you my personal feedback. So if you want seven-figure earner to give you a personal feedback for a fraction, 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 fraction of the cost, you want to be part of the boot camp, you guys. It's going to be super fun, super exciting. I'll probably have some prizes. Um, it'll be four weeks, uh, one and done. I don't think I'll, I don't know if I'll ever do this again. And I'm being honest, it's more of like a beta. And that's why I'm also offering it at a, like a ridiculous price. Um, it's going to be more of a beta this four weeks. I'm going to see how it goes. Okay. And then the price I promise you will go up if I decide to do it again. So if you want the info, write info, you guys be blessed. I got to hop on a coaching call. I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.